Are you looking for a great, comfortable coastal cruiser? Then come with me for a quick walk around tour on Lady Jewels. She's a 2000 4788 Bayliner pilot house. She's got three cabins, generator, air conditioning, Cummins diesel engines, and lots of wide open liveaboard space. So come with me for a quick walk around tour on Lady Jewels. She definitely is a lady's boat. She's got the name and the owner. So come with me as we preview her here at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are starting off at the transom of Lady Jewels. We see we have a nice extended swim platform, covered boarding ladder. From here we can see the davit on the upper deck. We also have additional grab rails and cleats to secure the vessel. Coming down along the starboard side, we have this view. We can see we have a nice little walkway right here with grab rails up above. There's our bay liner badge right there. Note the window frames are in good condition on this boat. As we move forward, this gives us a view of the pilot house. Electrical connections right there. That gives us a nice view. We have both port and starboard doors there, so we can exit on either side. Here we are on the starboard side. This gives us an idea of the walk around and the fore deck right here. We see we've got wire fender baskets, covered windlass, stainless steel anchor, and then this gives us a view of the upper deck. And note, we have a nice seating area, just to, more space to get away and enjoy the best. Here we are boarding Lady Jewels. Nice easy step right there. We can easily enter the cockpit through this oversized door, wide enough for coolers and other gear. Right here, this is a great spot. Set up some chairs, get a beverage, watch the world go by. We have both port and starboard molded in steps and storage also. We've got gunnel storage right there out against the transom. And pulling back, these hatches give us access to the batteries and generator. We enter the vessel through this sliding door. Notice we've got lots of windows in it to allow light and air into the cabin. Immediately to port, we see we've got a couple barrel chairs with a nice little table. Behind there, there is gunnel storage also. Now circling around, we have our L-shaped sofa right there with storage underneath an oversized dining table which has leaves so we can extend it and open it up for even more space. Moving forward we have our wet bar right here again with the Corian countertop, cabinet storage above, sink, new ice maker, storage cabinet, and a bottle of Chevis Regal right there. We also have our stereo and six stack CD changer. As we circle around, we notice below we have a TV in the cabinet right there. And then at the galley, nice wood toned floor there. Adds a nice little touch. We have lower cabinets with built in drawers there at the gunnel. Good amount of counter space and an overhead cabinet right there. Our appliances include a GE microwave, three burner electric stove with an oven, trash compactor, and then 
We also have a new refrigerator here. Good size Norco. One of the best aspects of this galley is the ability to stand here and look out over one's domain. What a great view. From here, let's go below to the sleeping area. We've got a nice long hallway here and immediately to port we have our guest cabin right here with a double bed, storage underneath, and a nightstand. We have lots of headroom, probably six feet, three and a half, four inches. This mirror gives us the illusion of even more space. We've got a nice, cozy guest cabin here with a sliding door. Right across the way, we have our guest bathroom, day head, fully lined fiberglass. This boat has the vacuum flush toilet systems on it, which was an upgrade at the time. We've got a separate shower stall right here, vanity, vents, and of course, we have a nice mirror right there in the door. As we move forward, we've got a storage cabinet right here. If you want, you could add a washer and dryer and plumb it there. And then in this cabinet, we have storage and access to the central vac. Moving forward, up two steps, we see our master suite. We've got an island bed, easily accessible from both sides. Drawer storage up underneath. Multiple hatches for light. We've got hanging lockers off to both sides. And then circling around, we have the master suite has its own head, fully lined fiberglass, vented vacuum flush head. And something very nice on this in this shower stall we even have a tub all we need is a couple jacuzzi nozzles and we are all set now Behind door number three, we have yet a separate cabin. You can see we have Pullman style bunks all set up right there. A cedar lined locker. And then built in drawers right here. Couples have converted this room and made a nice little home office aboard the boat. From here, let's go up to the pilot house, up three steps. This gives us an overview of the bridge right here. We've got an L-shaped seating area with a little dinette table, so you're never alone unless you want to be. Here at the helm, we've got a movable captain's chair our destroyer wheel, all of our electronics, gauges right there, and then all of our switches are off to the side right here. We also have a separate zone air conditioning control. And as I mentioned earlier, we've got both port and starboard doors. So it just depends on which side you want to dock on. Behind this cabinet here, we have our 
electrical panel. We've got our generator start also. Tank watch. Our engine gauges are here. Now they're showing about 1,200 hours. There's also a note to add about 1,000 hours to those. They may have been replaced somewhere in the past 20 years. Everything is easily accessible right from there. This gives us one more overview of the salon. And then from here, let's go to the bridge deck up here. Immediately to port, we have our helm. Right there. We have all of our gauges, shift, throttle, electronics, or the, we have a Garmin unit right there. Stereo, autopilot, VHF radio. Pulling back. We have more seating. There's another L-shaped seat with storage up underneath. And here we have starboard side, an LLI, ladies like it feature, chaise lounge with storage up underneath. As we moved aft, we see we have a wet bar with refrigerator right there. This is a nice wide open space if you had a dinghy. We've got the cradle for it right there. However, we're using this as more seating area. Great for entertainment. And from here, access to the cockpit is nice and easy. Just down those, that ladder. Lady Jewels is neat, clean, odor-free, has been maintained. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.